Hello and welcome to my presentation of diversity in Genshin Impact. So this is Genshin and it was a game that was launched back in September of 2020. Um, this game grew in a lot of popularity very quickly because of its unique aspect, aspect I'm sorry, <laughs> of having a lot of characters that you can use to play with. Um, 66 characters to be exact. Um, these are all the characters we can use. They all have different weapons and different elements that you can use. Um, however, out of all of these 66 characters, there's only four that are characters of color. Yikes. Um, so let's talk more about diversity in Genshin Impact. So diversity in video games is still not as great as you might think. Um, as a matter of fact, 62.2% uh, of characters in video games are white and 38.8% of characters are characters of all other ethnicities, um, which is a little questionable given in the time that we still live in. Um, and, you know, we live in a time where there's more diversity in um, all forms of entertainment. Uh, however, um, Genshin is developed by a Chinese company. And in China, well, let's just say there have been some issues with uh, showing characters of color in the past. Um, to put it into simple words, we don't usually see them in their forms of entertainment. Um, so I guess here in Genshin, it makes some sense why we see, um, I guess, characters that are white complex because of the, I guess, beauty standard that is in China. But anyways, going back to the launch of the game, um, players were introduced to one of the main characters and the first character of color in Genshin called Kaya. And this is him right here. Um, eventually, uh, I would say three months later, back I guess in December, um, we were introduced to another character called uh, Xin Chen. Xin Chen, I'm so sorry, I have a hard time pronouncing her name. Um, but this is how she looks like and she was uh, she made her first appearance here in Liwa Harbor. And um, as we can see, Li Wei uh, looks heavily inspired by Chinese culture and architecture. And uh, one of the things that Genshin um, really likes to do is to try to stay as true to, um, I guess, their inspiration, which is right here being China. And them showing a character of color here in Liberty Harbor was a great way for them to start using, uh, I mean, I guess, start uh, showing more diversity here into Genshin Impact. Anyways, as the game kept growing, we were starting to be introduced to uh, new characters and new parts of the map. And it was until update 3.0 that fans started going a little bit more concerned. So, Hoyoverse had rumored that there was going to be um, characters inspired by the Middle East and Southeast Asia. So, obviously, this made a lot of the fans very excited to see new forms of um, diversity here in the world of Genshin Impact. However, whenever the designs were released, um, a lot of fans started growing uh, really concerned to find out how the characters eventually look like. The characters that were introduced were Kali, Tainari, Dori, and I think Nilu. Uh, all of these characters were introduced and as we can see, all of them are white complex. And a lot of fans were complaining about the lack of melanin in these characters. But Miho eventually quickly picked up on this uh, concern by the fans and in their next update, update 3.1, uh, they introduced two new characters that were Egyptian and one of them is called Sino and the other one is called Candace. This essentially made fans very happy to know that Hoyoverse was actually listening to them and their concerns and that Hoyoverse is actually willing to start bringing more diversity into their video games. You know, honestly, I think that the world of Tevat is so big that Mihoyo has the biggest advantage and opportunity to start bringing more diversity. I mean, just look at how big this map is. Um, in the course of the game, you're being introduced to different nations, different cultures and customs. Um, I think it's only fair that we're introduced to different um, characters that actually do represent uh, the cultures that are being um, shown. So as for the future of waivers, I just really hope that they can actually notice this and um, start showing that they can have more liberty and more fun with this by not making things look forced, by actually uh, showing good representation and um, listening to what the fans have to say because I believe that diversity is very important and it will really start breaking some stereotypes of what the Chinese entertainment industry shows 
So yeah, that was my presentation over diversity here in Genshin Impact and I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the gameplay.